guys what's going on. I thought I'd do another informative video about what's going on here at the house. Kind of plugging away at it. I decided to kind of take a break away from, from some stuff. Uh, from doing the go-kart thing. Uh, for the past few days I've been on the computer trying to uh, get the next design up to par. But some things weren't panning out so I've had to delete a lot of files and then restart it over again. And anyway, so still plugging away at the, at Cody's go kart. Yeah, I've just been kind of messing around here at the home 20. Uh, got the panel back on the on the build. Well, another thing that might be going on here is we might be having another little one in the house. Not from Crystal. Crystal's not pregnant, but uh, her brother and the girl that he was seeing uh, they are both uh, not able to take care of one of their, their their child that they've had and the state had contacted us and asked us if we would be a possible placement for their daughter a little girl she's two years old now a little over two years and her name is Ellie so uh, we might be getting another one in the home here, which is kind of neat. Of course, that would probably mean that I'd have to build her a go-kart, too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know, that's a little too young, if you ask me. Got some more good news. Also, for the past few days, I've also... Uh, some of you who have went and visited my website have seen uh, that I have set up, uh, I, I got set up as an Amazon uh, advertiser. So I've got products on my website now that are uh, through Amazon and that's that's kind of neat. I'm getting pretty decent. I'm not I'm getting a lot of people clicking and that sort of thing. A lot of people visiting the website, a lot of people clicking, but nobody's buying anything, so I'm not getting any any return off of that, which I really don't like. Uh, I've also got the AdSense on my website too, and that that's going okay. Not too bad. I mean, not as good as I wish it was. And don't like the. Uh, I'm hoping to get signed on to eBay. I want to be an eBay publisher, you know, put ads from eBay products and stuff like that on my website because, see, those of you out there who know about AdSense, AdSense pays you every single time somebody clicks on an ad and, uh, and goes off to the website. They also pay you based upon uh, what's known as an impression. It's where if the ad pops up and even though the person doesn't click on it, you still get paid after like a hundred views, you know, or something like that. It's some type of weird thing. Like after after a hundred people have seen your ads, if nobody's if nobody's clicked on them, then you get what's known as a an impression. A hundred impressions gives you one cent. <laughs> yeah. The I'm getting a lot of return, a lot of people clicking over to uh, the a a Amazon. Because I've got the Amazon products on there, so I've got people clicking over to check out the products, but nobody's buying. So those clicks, I don't get paid for. So it's like, you know, you got AdSense, which which pays you per click, and then you got uh, Amazon that doesn't pay you per click, and they only pay you when somebody buys something. So, but eBay, on the other hand, being an eBay publisher, advertiser. It's like taking the best of both worlds and putting them together. But you got to build up your traffic uh, to your website. You've got to. Th there's a few other little things that go along with it. I signed up with them and they sent me back in a, a denial because I think I set. I, I I gave them like information that I couldn't quite figure out. Like you have to take certain HTML and plug it into your website and put it in there a certain way. And I did that, but it, my website provider would not allow that. So I had to put it in a well, anyways, anyways, I tried to do it, and I couldn't do it, and I let them know that I tried to do it, but I couldn't do it. And they turned around and denied me for it, so i got to look more into it, because I really want to be on online with, with eBay, you know, because, you know, I promote eBay's products and people's products, you know, off the ass, you know, so 
Yeah. Also, one more cool thing. I have uh, something that I've been doing that I did two days ago. I set up uh, T-shirts. I got online and found a, co found a company that provides T-shirts. You design your own, you know, you, your own T-shirt and stuff, and you put it out there, and people buy it. You know, that's how that's set up. So I decided to go along with that company to do that, and so now I've got T-shirts. And I realized the last time I tried doing selling T-shirts, um, they they were kind of narrow narrowed just to people who are into go-karts, but la this time I've got different sayings on the shirts and stuff, and I've even got some women's underwear on there that say stuff on the back, you know, so yeah, I'll leave a link down below this video to it, or you can find a link on my website, or you can find a link on my channel also, that it'll take you right to my t-shirt shop, I guess is what it's called, to classify it as. So I've got t-shirts available now, so if you guys want to get a t-shirt, Look below this video and you'll be able to see the link that goes off to my t-shirt shop. <laughs> Seems like a lot of the big YouTubers are doing it, setting up t-shirts for, uh, for their subscribers and stuff. You know, some people out there, some of you guys out there, <coughs> I want you to understand something, that I don't see you guys as being fans. A, a fan is somebody who likes somebody because that person entertains them or whatever. I don't really consider you guys fans. I consider you guys to be subscribers because, because a subscriber is somebody who is interested in the stuff that the person does that a fan is somebody who's interested in just watching somebody and is entertained by it so I don't really consider any of my subscribers as fans I don't see you guys as fans I see you as just subscribers you guys are interested in some of the crap that I do so I don't see myself as being a big time entertainer or I don't see you guys as fans you know what I'm saying so yeah another cool thing since today so well, by the time you guys watch this video, it's going to be August 6th, 2011. But on August 10th, in four days from the time you guys are watching this, on August 10th, that's my birthday. So my birthday's on August 10th, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Most likely I'll be sticking around the house here, you know, building something or messing around with something or online or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Mrs. Birthday was, Crystal's birthday was uh, just a few days ago on the 31st so and our birthdays are real close together yeah so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 38 years old 38 <gasps> man <laughs> never thought I'd live to be 38 <laughs> man I went down and got these from Harbor Freight the other day these Allen wrenches and these things are awesome these things come in so handy you got like almost all the sizes almost all the sizes there for doing you know, set screws and stuff for your axles and everything. I've got this set, and I've got this little drawer right here. It's actually a little office metal thing that I got at Walmart. But I keep all my little Allen wrenches in there. Uh, I've got little bolts and, and nuts in there. I've got all my uh, all my key stock in there, so that way I don't have to got Loctite. So that way I don't have to be fidgeting around looking for all my stuff. I know where it's at. I just grab this thing and I know that all my Allen wrenches are right in there. Everything that I could use for an axle is right here in this little tray. For the most part. But unfortunately I can't get my big ass hammer of four right here in that tray. Because sometimes i got to use this. Maybe once I uh, get up enough money and I can buy enough little parts and steel and stuff for it and maybe some tubing or maybe a little electric engine or a little electric motor or something like that I want to build a replica of that bad boy oh yeah just a replica of course don't want to shoot anything I know there's places on the internet here that you can buy them that, that are for airsoft and that kind of crap and I don't want to be doing that stuff I'll just get I'll end up the kids will want to do it and the kids will want to shoot it and next thing you know one of them's crying yeah yeah, I picked this thing up from Harbor Freight a while back, and you know, I've shown this in some of my videos. But for some reason, these threads up here on this flap, on the visor here, have burned out. So every time I put it on, I flip that visor up, it always comes back down. Oh, man, that really sucks. I remember one day I flipped it up, and I was, I was smoking a cigarette. Flipped it up, I got done grinding, I grabbed my cigarette and put it, my cigarette in my mouth, and I looked down, the damn thing came down and hit the cigarette and just blew sparks up into my face. Stupid thing. Yeah, also another thing is, is I went down 
today and got some new bearings for the jack shaft on the trike and I took out the old bearings and the new bearings that I put in there are still open bearings but they're better tolerance and better made and they're not sealed bearings but I will be getting sealed bearings but I took out the old bearings and man these things are completely well I shouldn't say completely shot but yeah the, the ball bearings in them don't even hold the thing together anymore this one is just got uh, filings and crap all of beat hell bearings shouldn't sound like that yeah now I had somebody email me and ask me uh, some questions about the surrogacy thing that we did a few years back I did a video about two years ago where we were getting ready to fly off to Newark New Jersey for uh, for a surrogacy thing you know what that is is it's we would me and Crystal were planning on carrying a baby for somebody else well we had tried for two years doing that and uh, the first two times um, the way it's set up is that her cycle has to get set up with the mother cycle of how it was set up you know they have to get the cycle set up and then they can do the transplant in the process of doing this she has to take crystal has to take uh, shots and pills and stuff like that to get her body's hormones going and everything uh, she had tried we tried getting the cycle set up twice and that didn't work what we decided to do what the other family decided to do is they tried to go through a third party who was going to be an egg donor and then the egg donor's egg and his the guy on the other family his sperm would create an embryo and then we would transfer that into crystal that's how that was going to be it was a big elaborate type of thing well we had tried doing that after the first two times that crystal was on the drugs and the shots and all that kind of stuff we did try to do it a third time but this time it was kind of successful because they used a third, third egg donor. We flew off to Newark, New Jersey the, fir the first time, did, did the transfer, came back home, and that was when we got kicked out of our place. That first, that first, well, I shouldn't say kicked out of the second one, but the first one that we got kicked out of, when we got back here from Newark, New Jersey, we found the eviction notice in the mail. And so then uh, we were out look for a place and I think it's because of the stress of trying to find a new place packing things up and because um, by the time we got back that 30-day notice you know we were already in to like four or five days into the notice by the time we got back so we really didn't have 30 days to get out we now had like 25 or 24 something like that to get out we got out we found we found a place uh, in that time, in that time period, Crystal miscarried, so she lost that baby. Then we tried it the second time, a few months later, and that time the egg didn't take either. Then we tried it a third time, a few months after that, and then that that didn't happen either. So we had tried five times to carry for the other couple and the um, the company that we went through uh, Crystal found her on the internet and the girl's name she's a big time attorney she's one of the nation's biggest people who deal with surrogacies her name is Melissa Melissa Brisbane I think that's how that's pronounced but she's the biggest attorney when it comes to surrogacies for in the in the nation one of the biggest ladies who's really into it and she works with a few clinics out there yeah we tried five times and then after the fifth time crystal had been on these drugs you know and it was just it was really messing up her system all the headaches up and down just everything you know so after the third time of the third transfer um, she just was like I'm done with this I can't do this anymore and but then uh, after we had stopped doing it we catch uh, uh, they had sent us they sent me an email the, the other family they sent me an email a few months later and told us that they had found another surrogate mom 
and they went along with her and the first take she was like pregnant wow it was like geez okay well congratulations you know we were kind of happy about that for them because you know they had spent god that's that's expensive when it comes to doing that kind of stuff so um we're happy for them and everything and uh yeah so the surrogacy thing that we tried to do no, nothing happened you know we after everything would have been cleared and done uh, it would have been something like 20 grand by the time we were done um, and that would have been just for the carrying that doesn't count the clothes that Chris would have to buy the maternity clothes and stuff like that that she'd have to buy that stuff was covered um, and then there are a few other things too like doctor's visits and all that kind of stuff was covered by the surrogacy family so yeah I mean that that didn't pan out for us at all um, we tried to do that, but it didn't work. You know, wanted to help some people out, but but we're glad that they did find a, they did find somebody that would that you know they could have a kid with. You know, so that's pretty good. But yeah, so we didn't uh, we didn't we weren't fortunate enough to to uh, really supply that service for those for that couple. I felt pretty bad about it, but I can kind of understand where Crystal was coming from. You know, she's been she was on these damn drugs. You know, this, these fertility drugs for like two years, man. So, <laughs> yeah, I imagine that. Imagine a girl being chemically pregnant for two years. All right, guys, so that's just a real quick update uh, about what's going on here. Uh, try to be putting out a few more videos here pretty soon. I've got kind of a a montage of videos that I'm going to be putting out before I actually put out, start doing Cody's build. I don't know if I want to do Cody's build like I did the the, the reverse trike or the quad thing. I don't know if I want to go into that, make it that elaborate. I might. I don't know yet. So, yeah. But it's okay, guys. Well, I'll talk to you later. And uh, go check out my my T-shirts. Wish me a happy birthday if I don't put out another video till the 10th. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you later.